Okay, Donna's going to take the, her very first ride on the new Electric Glide 2020. This, uh, we've had it a couple of weeks now, but uh, I don't know. She always finds something else to do. So anyway, this is going to be her first ride, and we're going to uh, video some of the ride down, and we we'll go through the parking lot because whenever you get something new, it's a good idea to get to the parking lot and, uh, you know, warm up a little bit and get the feel for the new bike. Are you excited, honey? I am. Okay, and, and I have a surprise for you. Oh. I, I I put a microphone in your helmet now, so you'll be able to talk during the videos too. Put put the helmet on. Let's check it. Hold on, hold on. This is awesome. So we'll get a play by play. Yeah, by me. everything you say is going to go into my earpiece and then into the helmet. All right. Okay. No, you got to put the shield down. Now they'll be able to hear you. Let me hear you say testing one two. Testing one two. Not so loud. It's you're over modulating. Testing one two. Perfect. Um, you excited to go on this ride? I'm excited. Okay, great. This will be this will be perfect. You'll finally get to you get to talk. I'm not going to give you any written lines or anything. Just uh, you know you say whatever you feel. Okay. okay. In fact, even while we're riding, uh, you could talk away and and uh, we'll have it on video. All right. Actually, there is no microphone in her helmet. I'm just screwing with her. I love screwing with her. She's going to be so mad. That bike looks pretty good. And by the way, that is the Advan Black King Tour Pack on there. And the tab 4.5 inch slip-on mufflers with the zombie baffles. Sounds pretty good from back here. Not too loud. Loud enough that you could definitely hear it though. On, on my bike I've got the 4 inch tab with the medium baffles, the medium quiet baffles. We're going to take some back roads to our training location. We don't have a class today so it gives us some time to do a little training ourselves and for Donna to get the feel of the motorcycle. Just as a quick tip, when you're riding on a winding road, you do not want to ride staggered. You want to have the full use of your lane. So riding staggered when you're going straight down the road, coming around a winding road, use the entire lane. Single file is better. Not that there's many winding roads here in Florida, but there's a few turns here and curves there. should know that the really the only growing segment in motorcycles sales these days is women that is the biggest growing segment and I see a lot of women on heavyweight motorcycles unfortunately they usually move up because well maybe their husband tell them to or the first thing you're gonna do or you need to do ladies or anybody else for that matter is get some training on the bike you already have don't move up to a heavyweight 900 pound motorcycle if you can't ride the bike you got right now when I say can't ride what I mean is if you can't lean turn and swerve if you can't make a simple u-turn on a side street on your sportster getting a 900 pound motorcycle is not gonna make it better it's gonna make it worse now you may say well I ride and I hear this a lot I ride just fine out on the road what you're really saying is I ride straight down the road make great big wide turns every once in a while and come to a nice easy stop well that's not really riding that's uh, anybody could do that in fact 
about the second day after taking the beginner's course, you get on a motorcycle, you should be able to do exactly that. The problem arises when something gets in your way. When something gets in your way, if you can't lean, turn, swerve, you don't know which brake to use, when to use it, you've never practiced emergency braking, you are in deep trouble. And I hear this from, from riders, been riding, I've been riding 30 years, 40 years, 50 years. What they really have is, as I said this before, one year's experience repeated 30 or 40 times. What they're really experienced at is riding straight down the road, making big wide turns, and coming to an easy stop. If there was nobody else on the road and there wasn't any other traffic, you might be fine with that. But unfortunately, traffic is getting worse and worse. I don't care where you go. You need to be able to really ride that motorcycle. And believe me, riding is so much more fun when you actually know what the hell you're doing. If you think it's fun now, imagine if you could handle your bike with the ease of a child's toy, regardless of your size and strength, and regardless of the size of the motorcycle. Okay, we decided that to, instead of going all the way down to our normal training parking lot, we, we're going to stop over here. And uh, this is a nice big parking lot. Just to show you that you could do this anywhere, you know, especially if you've got lines in the parking lot. You're going to use those lines as a guide that'll tell you, you know, whether you're inside the lines or outside. And it's especially helpful if you have somebody else with you because you don't want to be looking at the lines. So what do you think of the new bike on your first ride? I love it. Should I put my helmet on so you can hear me? I was, I was only kidding you. There's no, there's no microphone in the helmet. How do you do that? Because I like messing with you. <laughs> I was chit chatting away. That's exactly why I don't put. That's why I don't put the microphone in there. All right, got me. All right. Um, so what, what's the deal with this parking lot? Did you tell them that you forgot the keys to our location? I, I that's did. Why we're here. Yeah, I, I, I just said that. You didn't hear me, but I, yeah, that's what I said. I, I told them. I forgot the keys, yeah. <laughs> All right, the first thing she's going to do, since she hasn't done any maneuvers or anything on this motorcycle, she sort of get the feel for it, make some big wide turns. Always, of course, using technique, and the techniques are the same on every motorcycle, but each bike is slightly different. A little bit different feel to where the clutch grabs, how much pressure you actually need on the brake. And then she'll start running those lines back and forth. Quick transitions, left to right, right to left. Very similar to the offset cone weave that we show you in my video. In fact, we still have the special going on shortcuts to riding like a pro. You can get that video and survive in the mean streets, which tells you why you did particular exercises. You can get those both for twenty bucks, twenty dollars plus shipping. Best twenty bucks you will ever spend. I guarantee you. video a shortcut to riding like a pro we don't have the motor officer section like we do in the extended ride like a pro video but it gives you some really good tips on how to get some practice in setting up virtually no cones or very few markers as, or cones as possible when you're doing this exercise you want to start with three parking spaces wide or two and a half parking spaces wide and as you feel more comfortable the goal should be to get down to two parking spaces wide as you're turning from side to side because that's 18 feet the bike has a, a limit of about somewhere around 15 and a half 16 feet turning radius so if you could turn in 18 feet you are doing really good and you never have to worry about not being able to make a u-turn on a side street like 
and you're using the proper techniques. Should be able to do this, folks. If you're out on the street, you gotta make a quick swerve. You have no idea how far you can lean your motorcycle. You could be in deep trouble. This is why we train and practice. If you just spend 20 minutes a week practicing these techniques, it will pay dividends, I guarantee you. Very good. Remember, where you find your bike's lean limits is under controlled conditions like this in a parking lot. The last place you want to find your bike's lean limits is coming around a curve at 50 or 60 miles an hour. The most common motorcycle crash that involves just the rider is failure to negotiate a curve. The rider gets into the turn. Instead of looking where they want to go, they look at the, all the wrong things. The guardrail, the double yellow line, the car coming the opposite way. And since they have no idea how far they can lean the motorcycle, they tend to run right off the road. So this is where you find your bike's lean limits. Get to where you could scrape those pegs and make sure that when you're doing that, you're on dry pavement and there's no gravel around. Out on the street, you shouldn't be trying to scrape your pegs because the roads aren't perfectly flat. If you're coming around a curve and you're scraping your pegs and you go through a little dip, there's a good chance that you could lever a tire off the ground. So I'm gonna show you what that looked like. Easy way to find your bike's lean limit. Simply turn in circles until they start to scrape. most Harley Davises on the left side the first thing that's going to scrape is your kickstand so you got a little bit more room to go when that kickstand starts to scrape but like I said out on the street that should be your warning don't lean the bike any further till next week